Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard from Boyi. This is the Boyi TK96. It is a 96% pre-built keyboard uh, that comes with a steel plate, Northfell's facing LEDs, and a fully entire set of die sub PBT keycaps that actually are pretty good. They have a body width of 1.5 millimeters, which is uh, definitely on the thicker side for what you see on pre-built keyboards. Now, the stabilizers on this keyboard are also, despite being plate mounted, they are quite stable. The tolerances are very good. And actually, with the switches actually being stock, they're not the pingiest, being that they're gator on yellow, but lubing them would make a huge difference, in my opinion, as far as their sound. It doesn't sound that bad. Now, it is well dampened with what looks like a uh, light foam between the plate and the PCB, as well as something light or open cell below the PCB inside of the case. This keyboard does not have flip out feet despite being a plastic case. So you're going to be dealing with the default typing angle of six degrees. Um, and it also does not have a pocket for the USB 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Though it does have a little clip on holder, you should say for the USB-C cable uh, that does come with the keyboard. Now it does include a, a few extra switches, which is always a nice touch in case this might be the first time the user is going to be lubing the switches and you know one may break or whatever there's always situations for it having a few extra switches in the box i think is a very good non uh, to consumers and probably helps to build some brand loyalty there so um, keyboard companies that do that i think that's a very good move now the keycap set uh, this one is botanical they do have a few colorways um, and this keyboard regularly goes on sale uh, from what I've seen. But stock as it is, it's not horrible. But putting a little bit of time and effort into it, I think it would sound a lot better, especially either switching out the switches, which it is three and five pin hot swap compatible. So there won't be any issue with that. Um, or lubing the existing switches as gain around yellows are a very decent linear switch. Um, they're right in my weight range, uh, preferably. I like them a little bit heavier. And I think that it's actually for a pre-built keyboard does not sound all that bad. I would have liked to seen some kick out feet being it's the plastic keyboard. It's not a big ask and being able to choose different angles, especially since a wireless keyboard, wireless keyboard should mean that it's going to be on the move. Those would be my only slight gripes about it. Otherwise, it's a pretty good keyboard. It might be a little overpriced for what is available in today's market. We're seeing a lot more gasket mounted keyboards coming out at this price and sometimes even cheaper. Um, granted, this is a 96%, um, though, Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that the 1800 layout is a little bit more popular as it does give you that little bit of space um, since all the clusters are exploded or expanded out from each other. All right, so for just the specs, the Boy ETK96, again, it's a 96% three mode keyboard. It does MSRP for $89.99 is loaded with a 305 it, do, it does come with a 3,500 milliamp hour battery and weighs 965 grams fully loaded as is. The chin of the keyboard sits at 20 millimeters. The back sits at 29 millimeters. The typing angle is six degrees. The die sub PBT keycaps are quite thick with a 1.5 millimeter body. And they do come with an entire, what would make it a complete set of keycaps. It does not have a dongle pocket, but does have a clip-on for the USB cable. This is a tray mount steel plate keyboard 
with stock Gatoron yellows. So today we took a look at a 96% three mode keyboard that is pretty decent for on the go. It sounds okay, passable for being stock. And I think with very little effort, it could sound much better. And the Bluetooth connected fairly quickly. Uh, the 2.4 was basically instant. Um, and it actually worked despite me having a bit of, I live in a 2.4 war zone. There's so many things using that particular frequency that I'm surprised that anything connects. Um, it does come with some pretty good keycaps. Again, you can, you, you could switch out pretty, practically all the modifiers and some uh, if you wanted to with more botanical cute ones. And it doesn't look like a copy. It looks like their own. Um, the greens are a little different. It has a yellow. It's not a bad set of keycaps by any means. Um, the stabilizers are actually quite decent for plate mounted and the tolerances are, are very, uh, they're very tight as they are nice and stable as they should be on the plate. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this Boogie keyboard. I do hope that you enjoy it. If you have any thoughts or ideas that you'd like for me to do when I come back to modify this keyboard, I would appreciate if you leave me a comment below. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.